thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna do a very quick upgrade on the uh, LED that uh, light bulb that we have. Um, we have been using uh, LED for more than five years now, and of course uh, the LED technology keep uh, upgrading and it's getting brighter and brighter. So uh, this video actually gonna give you some update, and then it's gonna supersede uh, some of the previous video we have made on the uh, LED light bulb. Uh, just cut short for the introduction. Um, uh, let me go with the first one of this. This is actually is our new uh, direct current LED light bulb. If you go to our website under the score mark, uh, www.scomart.com, uh, you will find out that uh, we carry a lot of direct current, especially a 12 VDC kind of uh, uh, LED light bulb but you won't able to find a 24V, okay? This guy is actually is a multi-voltage. Uh, this guy you can input at 12V, it also can input at 24V. Yeah, so this is very good, especially for people that have a large system, large solar system, and when you have a large solar system, uh, your battery bank is always uh, 24V and higher, yeah, 24V. So you can use this light bulb, plug in, uh, you don't even need a converter just to uh, com com convert down to 12V, yeah? Uh, but of course, it's also tech uh, 2V, uh, 12V, sorry, you also take about 12V, uh, so it's both voltage, either 12 or 24, yeah? It's frosted, uh, frosted design, E27, uh, roughly give you about 300 rubens uh, for this, yeah? Um, the second one uh, is actually is our 3 watt uh, LED light bulb. Uh, you guys have been using this for our DIY kit, uh, but right now actually uh, we have few choices now. We have the 3 watts, we have the 5 watts, and we have the 7 watts. Yeah. Um, this guy also doing a upgrade. Uh, in, last time we are using a different LED. Right now we are using a more energy efficient uh, LED. Basically, we call this is actually the five six three zero LED. Five six uh, 30 LED, uh, which is uh, been around uh, almost a year. Five six three zero LED. Uh, its energy efficient is damn good, and uh, it's very bright. Yeah. So aluminium casing design, uh, frosted. Yeah. So those who have used uh, our small DIY kit system, uh, you know this. Uh, this three watt is sufficient enough. Actually, uh, you want to light out uh, a small room. Yeah. And then the 5 watt one probably is good, uh, let's say you want to light up uh, a bigger room or something like that. Then let's say you have a large hall or kitchen or some uh, bigger area, then you can uh, consider the 7 watt. Yeah? So I'm going to light up this guy and most of the time when I light up this guy, the, um, the camera will go dark. Yeah? It's, a, it's a natural kind of thing. Uh, right? So I'm just going to light up this guy. Okay, hopefully the camera yeah, is going dark, yeah. but anyway, I'm, I'm not going to point the camera. Um, this is 7 watt, and like I say, if you have a big room uh, or big area, like in your living hall or your kitchen, you know, when light up, uh, this is the guy to go for, 7 watt. But for 7 watt, uh, in this day, in solar, consider uh, very, very high power, yeah. But of course, the old day, uh, we power a CFL, uh, 18 watt, we consider a uh, very, very low power. But of course, we we'll have changed so much in, in terms of uh, LED and uh, solar system, yeah? Uh, but of course, if you want even brighter, you can remove the, uh, the frosted casing. But of course, I would not recommend that. It's because uh, it hurt the eyes because it's too bright, yeah? But of course, when you have the frosted casing on, uh, the light distribution is much, much better, yeah? Okay, aluminum uh, casing, uh, when it gets hot, uh, the heat will be distributed uh, well, especially the aluminum, aluminum casing, yeah? Okay, the next upgrade is actually on the uh, fluorescent or the tube light, or some even call it the bar light, yeah? Uh, this has been around for more than a year now, a year plus, and it's always uh, equipped in our uh, DIY kit. And a lot of you have used this to uh, do bus store, do all kind of uh, area lighting, yeah? Uh, it's a very popular choice because it's affordable. Uh, last time we are using the 
LED like this guy use right now is 5630 but right now we upgrade it to uh, even more efficient uh, LED this is called 7020 7020 which is uh, one of these LED uh, will able to give you 30 to 45 lumen 30 to 45 lumen uh, we have 36 of this LED here so uh, easily gonna punch up a uh, tube like this easily gonna punch up roughly about more than 1000 lumen yeah and it consume uh, roughly about 9 watt yeah so is some we are talking something like um, more than 100 lumen per watt uh, that kind of like thing yeah so I'm gonna light this guy up it's uh, very bright yeah so I think most of you have used it as complain, complain that this is too bright and it hurt the eyes yeah but let's say you think it's too bright and hurt the eyes you can get yourself a frosted sticker uh, stick it on uh, then I believe the distribution of light will be much better and it will be more soft for the eye yeah but of course let's say if you want to you know stay in the remote or off-grid area you don't have power you always depend on solar uh, I think one of these will be you know uh, good enough and uh, you will not complain that it's too bright yeah uh, LED price have gone down uh, if you check our website uh, you'll find out that we already start reducing price for uh, all our LED and we believe that uh, you already become to a stage whereby LED is so affordable and one thing about it is also damn bright them energy efficient and price is really really low now and I would say that uh, LED is the lighting uh, for now and as well for future yeah but however uh, we still keep our stock for uh, CFL can you guys still remember that CFL compact fluorescent light or energy saving light we used to call yes we, we do still keep the 18 watt uh, CFL and the uh, 14 watt uh, T5 uh, but of course uh, we, we will increase the price because I would say that those things uh, become antique already and uh, the but some of you are still maybe uh, very very small percentage one or two percentage uh, one two three or that kind of percentage are still not ready to use AOED uh, still want to go for those uh, CFL or the T5 uh, fluorescent tube that kind of like uh yeah we do keep stock and you can you know still order whilst the stock lasts or when come to the time really no one want to produce uh then uh then of course that not, nothing we can do yeah but i would say that uh for energy efficient especially for solar concern uh led uh is the way to go yeah and today's i would say that by standard 5 watt 3 to 5 watt is something like equivalent to uh, 18 watts of cfl yeah 3 to 5 watts is good enough to light up your room you know light up your hallway light up all kind of place yeah uh, when you reach 10 watt it's something like damn bright yeah so i would say that LED is way to go the price is going down and it's energy efficient yeah do check out at our website our website for uh, the pricing and uh, more LED products that uh, we're gonna bring it to you and all of this run on 12 VDC uh, some are on 24 VDC so you can just plug into your solar system without any inverter yeah no inverter save cost uh, save the energy yeah LED is the way to go for solar lighting thanks for watching the YouTube channel